intern, intern, hello, hello, and welcome to the new dino park. Look at this, look at this. Oh, and we've already got dig sites going up. Thank you very much, everyone. Oh, people are already getting to work. Look at this. Our paleontologists are busy, busy, busy. Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> they found some fossilized pieces already. Look at them go, look at them go. But yes, oh, intern. Oh, I just, I could give you a hug right now. In fact, here, I'm gonna pretend you're this bush. Hug. Uh, we are here, intern. We are at our dino park, and we are actually in the Great Plains of Kansas! And you can see the encroaching urban environment trying to come into our zone. But thankfully, we have confiscated this area due to its high quantity of fossils, and we will be turning it into an absolutely amazing dinosaur zoo! It's going to kind of be the return of Iwa Ola Zoo, only this time in the middle of Kansas. And we're just going to call it the Dino Park Zoo. It is indeed one of our zones that we have with our world zoo, and I'm gonna call this probably, um, Dino Zoo A, or something like that. We should give it a cool name, in turn, because we're gonna be working with dinosaurs, and prehistoric reptiles, and prehistoric flying animals, and it's just gonna be amazing, and we're gonna need a lot more space than this. So this is just kind of like base A, where we have a whole bunch of our paleontologists currently employed and going around. Look at them. Man, they get the coolest, the coolest, coolest weapons. Or weapons? What the heck? It looks like a little weapon, doesn't it? A weapon against ignorance! A weapon for science! Ooh, I wanna dig it up, I wanna dig it up. I got this, I got this, guys, I got this. Yay! Dracowix! Oh, that's so cool. But yes, we will be helping them out with digging everything up, but I thought I'd show this little area to you. It's pretty much just covered in uh, grass and palmetto ferns right now. Ooh, look at the little hills. <gasps> and a rock! There's a rock! I love little rocks. And, of course, in turn, let me run down here. Let me run down here. I've been waiting to do this for years now. <gasps> okay. Let's jump in the water and... Ta-da! Almost there, almost there. All right, all right. Now, intern, you know what you gotta do now? You know what you gotta do now? You gotta check your underwear for leeches, intern! It is the return of having to check your underwear for leeches. Ah, and dinosaurs. Oh, it's just gonna be amazing. And look, there's dig sites everywhere. The paleontologists are busy, busy, busy finding some more. Let me dig this one up. What do we have here? An oviraptor! Yes, 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 yes! But this is going to be pretty fun. It's been a long time since we've worked with any of the dinosaurs, especially on this scale. But we finally, after working on all of our other zoos, have gained enough permission to be able to do this. So let me give you a brief tour of the area that we'll have to build our zoo in. Popping outside, you return to the modern world where there's cars and adorable little flowers and nice little birch trees all tidy and put next to the entrance and beautiful clouds. And you turn around, it's typical zoo entrance, they force me to have this till we can get more stars. And in here, this area has been carefully preserved ever since they found a mammoth tooth sticking out of the ground ages and ages ago. And we have finally got permission, thanks to our DNA um, sequencing that brings back prehistoric life, we have finally gotten permission to come in here and work on digging up these fossils, like this one right here. Oop, where'd it go? Oh, there you are. Yay, we got another little piece. Look at it, look at it. But we finally got permission to work on digging up these fossils and returning them to life. It is one thing to preserve the fossil specimens themselves. And, you know, there's a good argument for just leaving the bones alone as they were. But come on, when you can take those bones and turn them into gel, and turn that gel into a living, a living animal... Ah, there we go. You can see where we won that side of the argument. And so we will be... Hello, beautiful statue. Oh, what's this? You received a tip that the CEO of a prominent and very wealthy corporation is planning to visit your zoo in the upcoming months. You've heard that Sharon Tino's favorite animal is the Pegamatstrix. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, and rumor is that if this animal is in your zoo, you will receive a generous donation. Okay, we'll accept that challenge. Also, the zoo should not be open yet. Let me double check. No, you should be closed. Admission will be free. But yeah, the zoo should not be open yet because we are going to have to get some dinosaurs in here, or at least some prehistoric life. And we're going to have to put in the animals that we find by going around and collecting their fossil bits and DNA. We've got, uh, in fact, let me go ahead and, well, yeah, we'll check what animal they want in just a minute. But there's not much construction done over here yet. We have our statue to kind of greet guests when they come in. And then the only path that we have right now leads straight to the tar pit, this really amazing decorative tar pit. Don't worry, if the kids touch it, it won't actually burn them like real tar. That would be just a lawsuit waiting to happen. 
Ooh, and there's there's something hiding over here. Let's stick it up. Yay! Another Draco X piece! We've got the museum. This is the fossil research uh, dinosaur making museum. People can come in here and kind of check out what's going on. Next to the museum, we've also got the conservation breeding center, which is part of the dino museum in this case. And on the other side, over here, we've got a little gift shop. So the kids can come in and they can <laughs> walk through the ferns, apparently, and buy something from the gift shop. And then we've got two holding cells right now. This one is for like your smaller herbivores uh, that hopefully won't slip through these little adorable- I mean it's a beautiful fence. I couldn't pass it up. Look, it's made out of trees. Of course I would love it. And of course we've also got the electronic fence or the electric fence uh, to keep in some of the bigger, tougher dinosaurs that need, need a little bit more control. Yes, we found a velociraptor piece. What about over here? What do we find? Digging up dem bones, dem bones. Angelina. I cannot pronounce half these in turn and you're just gonna have to deal with it. Oh my gosh, look at how many fossils are being popped up out of the ground. This is going to be wonderful. But the deal is we have to find all of the dinosaurs and prehistoric animals that we wish to add into the zoo by digging up their fossils, putting it together, and creating them in the fossil museum first. Ooh, the Arox. Don't mind if I do. And eventually, as we gain stars, we'll be able to actually purchase some of the the animals that we cannot find the fossils of. There's most of them. Oh, look at that beautiful piece. Most of them we can find the fossils of, but there's quite a few that we're going to have to dig up, or that we, we won't be able to dig up, that we just have to, oh, there's the beautiful animal, that we just have to get from other institutions that have the fossils that we can't get. But for now, we're going to open up uh, Draco X. Oh, we might actually get, oh, look at all the fossil pieces. It's just so amazing. But yeah, for now, we are totally limited by adding only those creatures which we can find here buried under the ground and turning them back into, uh, back into, like, living animals. Let's see, what about this one? Ooh, there's another piece of the Arox. Alright, what about this one? Oh, wow. So many pieces. Okay, we're gathering a lot of the Arox. We might be starting with some prehistoric cattle then. Velociraptor! A little Velociraptor nail! Ah, oh, that's adorable. Claw, I should say. Alright. Oh, 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 oh! Good job! Good job! We have such hardworking paleontologists. Ah, oh, there's a Severian again! Oh, this is just so beautiful. I love being out here listening to the birds singing. In the expansive area. Look at them wading through. Check your underwear for leeches, guys! Wading through to that. Oh, we found 12 animal. We found $12 for the ringtail stuffed lemur. We found a little animal, stuffed animal. There we go. Ah, uh, we're very close. We're very close. We're very close to finding all the pieces we need. Protoraptorx. Yep. I'm gonna have to make up some. Oh, yep. It looks like the Arox may be one of our very first animals we add in. Oh my goodness. At least we've got the big open area for it. <gasps> oh, we did it. We did it. Protoarcheropteryx we can now uh, put together in the extinct research lab. So let's go into the laboratory. Oh, and there's two animals we can assemble the fossils of. Sweet. You remember this intern? Oh, it's been years working with these dusty old pieces. Very carefully trying to fit them into place. There's that. How about this one? There's that one. And you connect that. And here's the little head all flipped around. Ta -da! Yes! Alright, now we can study them up in the research lab, but let's put together the other fossil first, so we've got a couple to pick from. Who are you, my friend? We're going to be learning about so many new species that I've never encountered before. Let's see, there's that. Alright, let's add you right there. Gentle. Boom! I can't believe it! We already have two of them! Yes! Yes! Okay. Next step is to come over to the Extinct Research Lab, and let's start with this guy, because he was first. Okay. Whew! It's been a long time, researcher. It's been a long time. I, I love this guy. He's really good at what he does. He's got excellent petri dish luck, I gotta say. Alright. Oh, we can now build the Arox as well! Oh my gosh. Okay. Ready. 
You gotta remix the DNA very, very carefully, intern. Because if you don't... <gasps> Look at him! Oh, we did it perfectly! And he's a little super! Oh my gosh! Okay, come here, my little one. What is this? This is a male. We're gonna release him. Look at him! Oh, look at him fly! Oh, he's so cool! Okay, okay, okay. We've gotta get him food! We've gotta get him food! Oops, there we go. Novice Fossil Builder! Wow! You received the Novice Fossil Builder Award for building your first fossil. Wonderful! Well, let's get this little guy some food. Are you a little meat and insect eater? Do you want some insectivore chow? Oop! My first super award! Good work! You received the My First Super Award in recognition of your first super animal. Wonderful! I want to get the- we should get the Super Scientist Award sometime. Oh, that would be so cool! Alright, we'll work on that in just a little bit. Should we give him a little flesh feeder? Why not? The flesh feeder looks awesome in here, too. Alright, so he gets a little flesh feeder. And we'll give him a little bit of water. What kind of- what kind of in- like, environment do you want to be in, my little one? You don't say? Okay. Well, we'll go ahead and do a little bit of a dry marsh pond. Let's see, we'll give him a little pond like right here. Oh, does that make you happy? You're so cute and small. You're so cute and small. We'll give you another little pond up here. And let's go ahead and smooth that terrain a little bit so we can make sure you can get to it all right. Yes, and it's ready for another animal to be created. Look at him go. Ah, oh, he's so cool. All right, he's wandering around. What else do we need to get for you, buddy? He could get a ball. We're back to just half a star in turn, so it's gonna be a hard slog back up <laughs> to proving our worth. Let's see, we'll put a little paradise shade structure back here with the, the plants, I think. Among the ferns, if I can fit it back here. Come on, get back here. Um, I don't know if you'd be able to, we'll move the flesh feeder a little bit then. All right, we'll move it over here. And then, whoops, where'd he go? Little one! Oh, look at you! Oh my gosh, this is too cool. Come here. Come here, little buddy. Almost. Come here. Okay. You're really good at hiding under that palm tree. There we go. Finally. What should we name you? You're gonna live a very long time. There you go. Little palm tree hidey thing. And I think that's all that you really- Oh, there's a small toy. We'll put a few of them in here for him so you can keep himself entertained. Yeah, because we've got to get you a buddy, huh? Look at him! Look at his little tail! Oh, I'm going to have to learn all about you! Oh, I know nothing about you! Alright, intern. You need to tell me more about this little guy, because I have absolute zero knowledge in what he's like, what he wants. What is he doing now? Oh, he's going to go play with the small ball! Okay. Uh, does he have... <gasps> yes! Alright. He is of the lizard-hipped dinosaur order. His name means ancient early wing, a reference to the dinosaur's connection to birds. Birds evolved from dinosaurs, of course. He's from Asia. Oh, he's a wetlands critter. Okay, we can redo the area to make it proper wetlands for him. Or we can actually build him a whole new exhibit. These exhibits to the side of the research center are more meant to house the animals. Uh, we we'll might wait till he grows up pretty soon. And then we'll put him in his new area. He lived in the Jurassic to Cretaceous period, became extinct about 121 million years ago. This groundbreaking dinosaur was only recently discovered. It was first unearthed in the mid-1990s. Oh wow, looks more like a bird than a dinosaur. In fact, it's considered by some scientists to be the missing link in the evolution between dinosaurs and birds. Although it could not fly, its long legs suggest it ran very quickly. Its diet was unknown, its size was probably up to 3 feet, and its weight was about 10 pounds. Oh, that's so cool! Well, let's get him a buddy. Alright, we've got our little boy. Let's try to make a little girl now. Who knows? You never know what it's gonna be. But no matter what, it's good to give him... There we go. No matter what, it's good to give him some companionship. Hi, little one! <gasps> our second super! And it's a girl! Yay! Alright, we'll release her in here, and we'll build you guys a good little wetlands exhibit pretty soon. Look at him, he's gonna go play with his little ball. Ah, you two are too adorable. Look at their tiny little arms! Meh! Arms is not really the right word, it's probably more like feathered arms, perhaps. With some little graspers on the end, so cute. Alright, 
So let's see what else we can make over here. All right, so we've got the Arox. Let's put it together. Let's see. Where is your head, good sir? Right here? Yes. Your broad back. Almost. Look at that. Beautiful fossil pieces put together. Oh, I'm just going to blue book fossil piece. Yay! Oh, that's too amazing. All right. So actually, we just set this up for them. And I think we'll let them be for now. Just till they grow up. And when they become adults. Hello, little one. Are you thirsty? Can you drink the water okay? Oh my gosh. She's so cute. I guess we can open up the zoo now. That's true. We can open the zoo because now we have at least our very first dinosaurs in here. Okay. Very exciting. All right. If we're going to open the zoo, then I need to get down. Where are, where would the like donation box for extinct species go? Safari, endangered. Eh, there's this donation box. There's the, uh, we'll just use the don like the endangered donation box, I think. Yeah, that looks like a good one. There we go. Alright, yeah, that's a good one. Alright, and I mean the monkey thing is kind of creepy, but I'm not a fan of monkeys, so that would be why I, I don't like it. <laughs> and let's get down some benches for our guests real quick, because they're going to need somewhere to sit. I'm just going to go full out endangered species benches, because I love them, because they're so cool to me. Look at our hard working archaeologist, or paleontologists even. They're doing a good job. And let's see, we're gonna need bathrooms. Ah, see, I wanna be focusing on the dinosaurs, but of course you have to kind of flip your mind around uh, to focus on the people who are gonna be pouring in any minute now. We'll do a small restroom over here. What about this one? That's kind of a nice style, look at that. All right, we'll put a little small restroom in right there. So people have a little spot to go to the restroom. Um, and then we'll put down some entertainers. Yeah, let's do a saber-toothed tiger, a couple dinosaurs. We'll even set up a little place for people to come and watch. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, actually over here would probably be a good spot for people to be able to just to come and watch some performances now and then. Okay, there we go. So we've got it set up. Do we have our first? Oh my goodness, we have a whole bunch of guests coming in. Welcome, welcome everyone. I hope you enjoy uh, the new dinosaur park. This is just kind of a temporary exhibit for our little cutie patooties. Where should we put them? Maybe just right over here, because this is a good like area that we could make into a wetland zone. I could see that being a good exhibit. Yeah, we just put a little fence right there. Enclose this little area right here. That's probably more aquatic than what they need though. So actually, why not over here? Yeah, I like that. We could go ahead and give them like this little stretch of land. And we'll turn that into their exhibit. So we'll do that tomorrow morning in turn. And look at everybody in a straight little line headed right over here. But let us check what we need to do. So we need to find the Pegomastix for the person who's going to be coming to visit the zoo. And I need to figure out what that looks like what kind of creature that is, if it's a creature that we can get or not, so that we don't end up totally upsetting our bosses if we lose that. Um, Pegomastix, Pegomastix. Our... There we go. Alright. Penguin. Persia. Pelican. Penguin. Oh! Oh, it's so cute! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, it's so cute! Half star rating in the zoo. Okay, so we can afford it now. Um, let's see, it has quills. Alright, so we can get it now. I wonder if that means that we have the, the let's see, Severium. What fossil find? We might have to just start finding some fossils because, yeah, there's... 15 available, so I think tomorrow, intern, while everybody kind of watches these little guys and they have fun running around and being adorable, we're going to have to just totally run out there and start digging fossils up left and right and center and just seeing what we can get done 
and, tr and try to get the Pegomastics because it looks adorable and I'm probably pronouncing that horribly wrong. I apologize, intern, but we're here. We're back. It's getting ready. We already have a good foothold. People are already pouring in to see the beginning of the amazing little exhibits that we're going to be putting together. And I cannot wait to share the adventure through our dinosaur park with you, intern. So, don't worry, we will be returning to the Safari Zone. We will be reopening Coral Cove. We will be going to the Forest Zone again to check on our Ethiopian wolves. Um, which many of, uh, many of our guests have commented may be more like jackals, so it'd be fun to do some more research on them. And it would be a lot of fun to go back to our Australian areas as well. So it's going to be amazing in turn. I can't wait to share the journey with you. And I will see you tomorrow bright and early. Bring a shovel. Get ready to go fossil hunting. I'll see you then in turn. Bye-bye.